Greetings, MechWarriors. This is Blackhawk I see here with another viewer's request. This one comes from Joji Kondor, who has requested the Spider SDR5K twice now, so I thought I might as, well, might as well do it for him and the machine gun lovers out there. First, the SDR5K is on my solo account, so you'll see parts of the interface blanked out throughout the gameplay video. This account is also on T1, so the gameplay is at least representative of what most experienced players will see. And second, lights are my worst weight class, and I'm guessing that applies to most people out there. There's a certain skill set that you need to be a good light pilot, some of which can be learned, such as excellent situational awareness, and some that unfortunately cannot be learned, such as fast reaction times. Even if they're piloted correctly, it can be difficult to make a big impact in games because of your limited firepower and DPS. If MWO was, MWO was made to be more objective focused, lights can play a bigger role, but as of now, the way to win most games, regardless of the game mode, is to kill the other team. The spiders are one of the oldest light mechs in the game, and for a while, they were kind of strong in the public queue, especially the ECM variant, the 5D. This was because hit rate was pretty poor when I started playing, especially on lasers. So you'd have these invincible spiders running around poking everybody in the butt, some of which you can't even see due to the ECM. When hit rate was improved and other light mechs like the Firestarter were introduced, the spider became less seen on the battlefield. Also, a nerf to the machine gun DPS hurt the 5K especially. However, in late 2015, the 5K received some much needed machine gun quirks, and we actually started seeing them in competitive tournaments as finisher mechs. We've also seen them in world championship matches as well. I do want to emphasize though, that although the 5K plays a specific role very well in the competitive setting, they're generally less useful than lights with more firepower in the 12v12 public queue. So don't get the idea that they're somehow very, very strong. In quick play matches, my, my preference is the LPL 4MG version. You'll also see the ER large laser version being played, but that build isn't as well suited for the public queue. I also use 1.5 tons of ammo, and I know some will just run one ton, but I think it's not enough for 12v12. Other than these two basic builds, there really aren't that many other builds on the 5k other than the kind of trolley ones. Let's check out the quirks for a bit. Here we see that all important MG rate of fire quirk. Sometimes I see people running at 5Ks without MGs, but then it ends up being not very different from the 5V. The MGs are really good at critting out open components, so late in the game they can be very useful. By the way, if you didn't know, MGs are actually hit scan weapons despite what some game info displays will tell you. This means that they hit exactly where your reticle sits, like lasers, but with one major exception. MGs suffer from a cone of fire, which means that even if you held the reticle still, damage will still spread out in a cone around that area. The LPL also gets a 50% energy cooldown buff and 25% duration buff, which essentially makes it as if you're carrying two uncorked LPLs. The difference being, of course, that your two, your two shots will often hit different components, so the damage isn't as focused. The way I play this mech is that, in the beginning to the middle of the match, I look for slow, isolated mechs that I can kill, or at least do a lot of damage to from behind. The LPL should be able to open up the back armor in one shot, maybe two if they're carrying a lot of back armor. Then the MGs go to work on the internals. Since the 5k isn't well suited for a light v light battle, if they have support coming, I'd use my speed to get away instead of trying to finish off the victim. If I can't isolate enemies, then I'd use that LPL to harass from the 400 to 500 meter range. I keep doing that to enemies until they turn around to look at me. When they do that, I've really done what I'm supposed to do, then I start shooting something else. During this time, I try to minimize damage taken as much as possible. At the end of the game, if I haven't died yet, I try to find mechs that are close to dying and finish them off. Okay, let's see what this mech can do in the hands of a mediocre light pilot. Reactor online. All right, I'm gonna try to online. not talk too much uh, throughout the video. Maybe just give some very brief commentary uh, because I think it's gonna be pretty obvious, like what what I'm trying to do. Uh, and uh, so we're on mining mining collective, which is actually a decent map for the Spider 5K. You, there's a lot of close range. Um, combat areas which you can use to get behind mechs and get cover uh, quickly if you're in a light mech. I do wish I had a warhorn on this so you can actually see you know what I killed or when I get kills.
because I should be Target blocking out acquired. Uh, parts of the interface in the final version of this video. Airstrike online. So that blip, um, I'm thinking was uh, an isolated mech. So we're gonna go around behind to see what it is. Target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. And <laughs> dire wolves are dire wolves are like our favorite victims. They're so slow. I can't turn at all. This guy's like <laughs> I don't know what this guy's feeling now. Hopeless, I don't know. I just feel bad for him. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. Target acquired. Airstrike online. Target acquired. That UV is right above New the center. Acquired. Um, which limits our approaches because we attempt we we wanna try to not be seen when we do an approach when we New make an approach. Acquired. New target 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 acquired. UAV activated. Target acquired. New target acquired. Target acquired. Target acquired. Target acquired. New target acquired. Target acquired. I want to try to finish that Marauder because it's really hard, but uh, it's got too much cover. It's the Jagermic and the Raven helping him, so Airstrike gotta online. back off. Target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. New target acquired. Airstrike online. Target destroyed. New target acquired. Target destroyed. New target acquired. New target acquired. Where the hell did everybody go? New target acquired. Warning incoming missile. Target acquired. Here comes the machine guns. Yeah! <laughs> They're all in Echo 3, Echo <laughs> 4.
Echo three, Echo four. Target acquired. New target acquired. Yeah, as long as that was not like a Hugo and we get him, then it turns out to be your large laser raven. Not a problem with us for us at all. Machine <laughs> gun dude. So awesome. Two v one on the spider. Uh, we Three see left. that blip, but we don't want to approach that from the front. So we try to find another way to perhaps get a back shot. So I looked for that last Target mech for acquired. four minutes. Um, took me a while to find him, but he has a, a night gear. And uh, 1v1ing a night gear in my condition right now, it's difficult. Especially, you know, if I'm, like as I said, not a really great light pilot, so. Gotta be really careful here. You know, if I try to get behind him, it wouldn't have been very easy. Uh, he does have jump jets, so he can turn pretty quickly. Uh, does have armed weapons, so that he can shoot down. And apparently he has pulse lasers, which... Um, can do pretty focused damage on light mechs. And, like, I'm open up all over the place, so it's gonna I have to be, like, super careful. Critical damage.
good guy. Well, he looks like he was pretty fresh, after all. Well, we did the best we could, but not bad, not bad. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed this video for the Spider SDR 5K. See you next time.